All right, let's solve some of these for exact values. So we're supposed to find the um, exact values for these, um, solve them. Um, so this first one, uh, cosine of x equals root 3 over 2. So that means that x uh, could equal the inverse cosine of root 3 over 2. So I could show that in my calculator. It's going to give me some decimal. So let me think about a little sketch of this. Uh, root 3 over 2 is positive in this direction. So that's going to be this length right here. So notice that that rotation right there and that rotation right there both give me that same terminal spot in the x direction. So both this angle here and this angle here, if I go cosine of either one of those, they'll give me root 3 over 2, right, adjacent over hypotenuse. Um, and anything that, you know, if I add 360 to any of those as well. So let me think about this then. So if this is root 3 over 2. I can think about my 30, 60, 90 triangle. Um, so this must be pi over 6. Because that would be 1 half and that would be 1. So that means that um, this value right here, this angle is pi over 6. And um, if I want this angle, this little part right here is a pi over 6 rotation. So I can go 2 pi, um, sorry, I can go 2 pi minus pi over 6. Uh, so 2 pi is uh, 12 pi over 6 minus 1 pi over 6, and that is 11 pi over 6. So one of my answers for here is uh, pi over 6, ugh, pi over 6, sorry. And notice where it ends an integer, any um, rotation of 360 past that, and n could be uh, positive or negative, the integer, right? And then uh, also with 11 pi over 6, plus that. So we're supposed to find all the exact values of that. So there's, there they are for that one. Let's do another one. Um, the next one is cosine of x equals negative 1 half. So if I think about that, I, x is, I could go inverse cosine, negative 1 half, it'll spit out some value. Sketch a picture of it, might help. Negative 1 half is in this direction. And I have this angle that terminates there, or this that terminates there. So my angle is here, or it's here. So uh, let's see, if I think 30, 60, 90, is this, this is 1 half, this is root 3 over 2, this is 1. So that means that this, uh, this angle right here must be uh, 2 pi, well this one in here is pi over 3, so this must be 2 pi over 3. Great, so I know that. Um, so this angle here is 2 pi over 3. This angle um, here is 2 pi over 3. So let me read, this is getting a little messy, so I'm going to erase a little bit in here. And here's what I'm saying. Um, this angle right here is 2 pi over 3. Um, that means that this angle is negative 2 pi over 3. So if I want to get this angle here, I can go 2 pi minus 2 pi over 3. Uh, 2 pi is the same as uh, 6 pi over 3. So this is going to give me a 4 pi over 3. So my angles are uh, 2 pi over 3, and then, you know, go around its period as many times as you want, and 4 pi over 3, go around its period as many times as you want. All right, so let's do sine. So sine of 1 half. Uh, notice that x would be arc sine, inverse sine, of 1 half. So if I sketch this, this has a, sorry, try and draw that a little better. So this, not much better. 
uh, this would have a height of one half, right? Like that height is one half. So that means that uh, there must also be one this way. These both have the same height of positive one half. So it could be this angle or it could be this angle. Um, and then if I think about that, one half is there, root three over two is there, one is there, think about that special. Uh, this must be pi over six. So this angle is pi over six. That means that um, this angle that's in here is also pi over six. So I should be able to go pi minus pi over six to get that angle. So pi minus pi over six. This is six pi over six. So it should be five pi over six. So there's my angles. One of them is pi over six plus the period. The other one's five pi over six plus the period. 